we're going to talk about the alternating group. What's the order of the alternating group? Well, the alternating group is a subgroup of the symmetric group, where it has n factorial things in it. So I'm going to prove that half of them are in the alternating group. Where alternating group, is, remember, it's just the even stuff, the even permutations. So this might make sense. You might expect half to be even, half to be odd, but here's exactly why. So I'm going to let O sub n denote the odd permutations. O sub n will not be a subgroup. It's also not standard notation. I'm going to show that these two have the same set, same size. So we know every permutation is either even or odd, and I'm going to show that these two have the same size. I will do that by showing that there's a bijection between them. Or maybe I'll show that there are one-to-one -one maps both ways, I guess. So theta is going to map any permutation to 1, 2, sigma, theta. Theta maps sigma to 1, 2, sigma. So if sigma is 3, 4, 5, I'm going to end up mapping it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If sigma is 1, 7, it's going to map to 1, 2, 1, 7. And you could, of course, simplify that down to 1, 2, 7 if you want. But <clears throat> that's what it's going to map to. This is 1 to 1. So, oh, by the way, certainly this is going to be a true map from the alternating group because I'm saying sigma must be an alternating group. So that means that sigma is a product of an even number of transpositions. And it's going to map to the odd because here's an even number and I'm just tacking on one more, so an even plus one is an odd. Okay. So we're going to show that. So suppose that we have them being equal. Then we get this, but then I can multiply on the right both sides by one, two, one, two. They cancel out and I get the sigma equals tau. Good. So if theta is one to one, that means that the number of even things is less than equal to the number of odd things. Because I have one to one map. The other one map. So I'm going to uh, have another one that maps the odd things to the even by, oh, the exact same thing. Look, sigma is going to be odd by definition now. And if I tack on one extra transposition to an odd thing, I get an odd plus one. Odd plus one is even. So these are equal. They intersect trivially because you can't have something that's both odd and even. So you get S as a union. Include that each of them is half the alternating group, which is n factorial over 2. Thank you.